Fire Emblem, engage! Almost time. We can handle this. Final battle lies ahead. Now, it's time to engage. Let's go. One last battle and the war will be over. The others fought hard to clear a path for us. We can't let them down. You're here at your end. This place will be your tomb. Move in. I'll remain by your side. I'll do my best. You have no hope of defeating me. Not even with your emblem. He's within reach now. We can strike. To die here was ever your destiny. The rings are mine. <laughs> We are now connected and can unleash a powerful attack together. My prayers are with you. Oh, foolish. You have not 
nothing to celebrate. You are weakness itself. You will never defeat me. Thanks to you, this world is saved. And my work here is complete. Know that I will always be with you. And that we will stand together again, as we did this day. If ever we cross paths again, I hope you will remember me. Indeed, that you will remember all of us who took up arms to fight by your side. The Twelve Emblems. Calm down, calm down, you two. What's all of this ruckus about? Uh huh? Divine Dragon. It's a miracle. An utter miracle. The Divine One, awake at long last. That I might live to see you standing before me. What an honor. Um, not to be rude, but who are you? Ah, apologies. I lost myself for a moment there. My name is Vander. I am the 32nd steward of the dragon. Hello, Sir Vander. Oh my, Divine One! There is no need to address me as such. Simply Vander will do. See? I told you the Divine Dragon was awake! Yeah, we were telling the truth! You two. I don't believe I got your names. Oh, sorry. We were so excited we forgot to introduce ourselves. We're the 33rd Stewards of the Dragon. My name's Clan. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Fram. We're twins. We've been waiting forever for you to wake up. As Stewards of the Dragon, our mission is to protect and provide for you. Generation after generation of our predecessors waited for you to rise from your slumber. I'll admit, I am astonished to see it has finally happened. You see, a thousand years have passed since the first steward took their post. A thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep? Indeed. Your mother, Lumera, the Divine Dragon Monarch, has long awaited this day. Finally, you, a Divine Dragon yourself, have awakened. This surely signifies great things. Oh, slow down. This Monarch you mentioned, she's my mother? And I'm a Divine Dragon, you called it? Oh, dear. Is your memory hazy, Divine One? Oh, I know my name, but that's about it. You can't remember anything else? Maybe you're just feeling groggy because of all that sleep. But I don't even know who I am. Fret not. Such lapses in memory are to be expected after sleeping for so long. If I may, you are a Divine Dragon. A member of a royal family of dragons revered as deities. Queen Lumera, the divine dragon monarch, rules over the holy land of Lethos. In the war a thousand years ago, she defeated and imprisoned the wicked fell dragon. You, divine one, are her only child. The war? The fell dragon? Oh, I feel like I can almost remember, but... <sighs> Please. Do not trouble yourself trying to bring it all back at once. Your memories will return in time. You are a being of immense power. A deity, no less. I have heard many a tale of your kindness, nobility, and bravery. Your unflinching heroism. 
That's a lot to live up to. For now, let us head to Lethos Castle. Queen Lumera will be thrilled to see you. Perhaps the reunion will help stir your memories. I hope so. Okay then, onward and downward. To Lethos Castle! I've been sleeping in the sky? You have, yes. The place where you slumbered is known as the Somnium, a fortress built upon an airborne island to ensure your safety. It is perhaps the most secure place in all of Elios. Only a select few can set foot there. Oh, I see. And you three live there with me? Yep. As stewards, we spend our time caring for you and managing things around the Somnio. It's a sacred place, so we work as hard as we can to keep it shipshape. Royal family members visit us all the time. Well, visit you, really. The prince and princess of Firenay, a deeply religious country, visit especially often. They pray next to you, like this. Then they just talk for a while, like they're chatting to a friend. I see. Thanks for filling me in, Fram. You too, clan. The Divine One said our names and thanked us! I think I'm going to faint, unless I already did. Am I dreaming? Need I remind you that you are in the presence of the Divine Dragon? How many times must I tell you to behave in a manner befitting your station? Divine One, please, forgive this embarrassing breach of decorum. Breach of decorum? <laughs> I'm actually enjoying your enthusiasm. <laughs> You're just as kind-hearted as I always imagined! Oh, look! There it is! <sighs> Lethos Castle... The... Divine Dragon Monarch is there, you said? Yes. I suppose a thousand years have passed since you've been home. Don't worry. We'll be right there with you. You can hold my hand if you like. Thank you. Hmm? How long have I been wearing this ring? Since before I fell asleep? That blue stone. It reminds me of something. <laughs> uh, what are these terrible things? Vander, are creatures like that common around here? They're not. I've never seen them. Nor have I heard of such monsters appearing in Lethos before. This is a land of peace. Understood. Well? Shall we fight them? As you wish, Divine One. You whose bravery knows no equal. No, let's run. Huh? We haven't the slightest idea who they are. And we don't know how they came to be here. Also, they worry me for some reason. So, we run. I, uh, well... Did the Divine Dragon really command me to retreat? Okay! Get to safety! We'll keep them distracted for you! <sighs> what the? Come back! Come back this instant! <laughs> oh no! Oh, this isn't looking good! Fred! Fred! Hold on! We shall come to you! Vander! Divine One, stay back. It's too dangerous. Clan and Fram were trying to protect me. I have to help them. I take back what I said. This is no time to run. Please, let me fight. All right, but stay on your guard. I will. What are these creatures doing in Lethos? We had best use the foliage to take cover. All right.
There are too many of them. Divine one, get out of here! This is the mission of the stewards. It's not safe for you here. Retreat to the castle. Are you wounded, Divine One? Please, use a vulnerary. I had to stop you. You called? I gotta protect Fram. You rotten monsters, don't scare me. More enemy. They just keep coming. They're all trying to protect me. I should be protecting you. If only I could, somehow. <sighs> you must remember. Know that my strength can be yours. I know that voice. If ever we cross paths again, I hope you will remember me. Indeed, that you will remember all of us who took up arms to fight by your side. The Twelve Emblems. Divine One? <laughs> Divine One! You mustn't do this alone! Don't worry, please! I'm not alone! Help me. Lend me your strength in this fight. <laughs> Shine on! Emblem of beginnings! <laughs> I am known as Mark. Emblem Marth, to be clear. With your help, Marth, we might just make it. 
Will you join us? Of course. I will fight alongside you from here forward. Your ally until the very end. are strong. This time, victory was mine. Divine One! Xander! Thanks for saving us. Yeah. And, uh... Sorry. This all happened because we ran ahead. I'm the one who should apologize. You put yourselves in danger trying to protect me. Oh, it's such a relief you're both safe now. Divine One, I hear more enemies approaching. More? I thought we'd gotten them all. Evidently not. These creatures, will there be no end to them? Uh, huh? There's more? <sighs> and they've got a dragon? <sighs> At last, you are awake. <sighs> Is it really you? Uh, yes, it's me. Thank you for saving us. What a joy it is to see you, huh? I've waited for so long. No. Oh. When I sensed you had awoken, I flew here as fast as my wings would carry me. I hope you're not hurt. I'm... I'm fine. What a relief. You cannot understand how I've missed you, my dear child. Oh, you're... my mother. What's the matter? Don't tell me. Since awakening, the Divine One's memory is clouded. I see. I'm sorry. I'm sure you weren't expecting this. No. I must apologize. I was so overcome with joy. I hugged you as hard as I could. I take this to mean you've forgotten... everything. I suppose it's to be expected. A thousand years is a very long time. Vander explained that I've been sleeping since... since... some war that happened back then? Yes. You suffered a terrible wound. And... and because of that... a wound? 
Well, I don't remember that. Or this world, or anything. Don't fret, young one. I will speak to you of all you've forgotten. Regardless of what you remember, I'm simply glad to have you back, my dear child. Still, this isn't the reunion you hoped for. Oh, don't worry about me. It's solace enough just to hear that sweet voice of yours, and to gaze once more into your eyes. What lovely colors they are. Let's head to the castle. Climb on my back. We live on the continent of Elios, four realms surrounding a holy land at its center. Firinae, kingdom of abundance. Brodia, kingdom of might. Elusia, kingdom of knowledge. Solm, queendom of freedom. The land of Lethos, home of divine dragons. And Gradlon, domain of the fell dragon fallen to ruin a thousand years ago our lands endured a vicious war with the foul dragon we called upon heroes from other worlds to aid us heroes known as emblems with them the warriors of our nations fought as one in the end we were victorious in defeating and imprisoning the fell dragon In the years since, our world has been safe. But now, I sense a resurrection. The binding weakens. If his shadow stretches across the land again, then we must fight him anew, as we did in ages past. Feldragon, Sombron, must be stopped. Here we are. We are safe within these walls. So this is Letho's castle. It's beautiful. I'm glad you think so. Though you may not remember this place, I've long waited to welcome you back here. Welcome home. <gasps> I'm home? Yes, you are. <sighs> I feel overwhelmed with joy. I may cry. Queen Lumera. Vander. Clan. Frem. Thank you for all you've done. You are worthy stewards indeed. You and your predecessors. Watching over my child all these years. I am ever so grateful. You are too kind. Yeah, it's awful nice of you to say that. I'm starting to feel woozy. Oh, yeah. Go us! We just got praised by Queen Lumera herself! The happiness of this moment aside, I am troubled to see the corrupted here in Lethos. The corrupted? Those enemies you were fighting out on the grasslands. Oh, I didn't like those things one bit. Just the sight of them made my blood run cold. Understandably so. The corrupted are corpses revived by an evil power. The fell dragon used them as his soldiers in the war. Before the start of that bitter conflict, Elios had known peace for eons. But then, a dark presence emerged. Sombron. Despite tireless searching, we could not determine where he'd come from. But seeing the destruction he wrought, there was no doubt of his evil intentions. Now the corrupted are spreading once more. This may be a sign of his return. No! I wonder if it is mere coincidence that you awakened as all this unfolds. If the Fell Dragon has been released, then we must prepare for battle. I can't imagine fighting someone like that. Worry not. I doubt he will attack anytime soon. 
This castle is filled with the spirits of divine dragons. The corrupted cannot enter it easily. Let us devise a plan now, while we have the opportunity. Emblem Marth. It's been quite some time, Lumera. That it has. Thank you for lending your aid against the corrupted. You're welcome. But of course, I could help only because your child remembered me. You know, it is possible the others are awake now, just as I am. Perhaps you are right. Sorry, but what do you mean? Who's awake? There is something I should show you. Follow me. What is this place? This is the Ring Vault. It is where the emblem rings are enshrined. Those of the Holy Knight, of the Sage Lord, and of the Azure Twins rest here, as well as the Ring of the Princess Exalt, and finally, the Ring of the Instructor. Each dwells within an emblem ring, as Marth resides in the Ring of the Hero King. So, counting Marth, there are six emblem rings, Wow. In fact, there are twelve. Six here, and six entrusted to the other countries. As a precautionary measure. What do you mean? The emblems grant world-altering power to whoever has all twelve rings. For generations, the Divine Dragons used this power to ensure peace and prosperity in Elios. Indeed, that was how we locked away the Fell Dragon. But many have sought to steal the rings and use them for their own nefarious purposes. Which is why they're scattered all over the continent, not just stored here. Precisely. The rings offer their power but once every thousand years, at which time the Divine Dragon travels across Elios to collect them from each nation's ruler. With a thousand years having passed since last time, I was planning to carry out this ritual soon. But if the Fell Dragon is after the rings, the emblems may be summoned before I arrive. Summoned? It is how one calls for an emblem from a ring, just as you did earlier with Marth. Only those with royal dragon blood are capable of summoning. That includes you, my child. Oh, you must be talking about the phrase that popped into my head. An invocation, you mean. What was it? Shine on, emblem of beginnings. I wasn't even thinking about it. The words just fell from my mouth. That was how you summoned Marth. What was your focus, your intention, when you spoke those words? I wanted to help Clan and Fram. I didn't want to lose them. I wanted to protect them. Your focus was on helping others. Remember that intention whenever you summon emblems, not to keep the power for yourself. Understand? to borrow, so you may protect others. I understand. Now, why don't we try a practice battle? You must be a little rusty after all these years. How about we train here? You will be the one fighting. The emblem lends you their strength. You need to train your body and mind to unleash an emblem's full power. Vander, Clan, Fram, you will be aiding my child in this battle. Against me. Queen Lumera, even in a practice battle, I could not turn my weapon on you. Oh, Vander, please do put your heart into it. I know I will. The Corrupted! No, dear, not at all. How could you think so? I made these opponents from plants and rocks. Nevertheless, their abilities are the same. Drop your guard, and you could be hurt. Oh, they're really unsettling. Can we train with something else? They give me the chills. Listen, you must push through your fear and face whatever opponent stands against you. Never run away. You are my child, the protector of all. The Divine Dragon. I understand. Don't worry, Divine One. We'll back you up every step of the way. Yeah, well, what Fram said. As loath as I am to battle against Queen Lumera, orders are orders. 
I pledge to bring us victory. Thank you, everyone. Now, let's begin. Be cautious, Divine One. Some of these enemies are carrying long-range weapons. Therefore, they can rain arrows upon us from afar. See this enemy with the axe. Axe wielders are at a disadvantage against swords. Swords are strong against axes. Axes against lances. And then lances against swords. If you outmatch your foe, you can break their fighting stance for an advantage in combat. Try it. Strike with your sword. After their stance is broken, they'll be open to further attack. Ah! The Divine One looked right at me! You know, I can do some mean healing with my staff. Not only that, I can take incoming hits from nearby allies. But it smarts when I do. Anyway, if you don't want to get hurt, or you need some patching up, just lean on me. Here goes. Well done. You see, swords are strong against axes. Always keep such weapon advantages in mind. Enemies can't counterattack while recovering their stance. A good time to finish them off. Hey, Divine One, I don't know if you knew this or not, but I can use magic. I'm good from near or far, even against well-protected enemies. Here. Whatever you say. <laughs> For the Divine Dragon. the Divine Dragon. You picked me! Enter the fray. There is no need to hold back, my child. All right. 
I'm okay. No disrespect, Queen Lumera, but I've got to attack you. That's the spirit, Fram. Why not? I don't want to attack you. Oh, I feel busy. Sharpen your focus, Clan. Lest you miss. Yeah. Here until the end. I'm so sorry. Fantastic work. You fought together splendidly. Let's move on. Wait over there a moment. All right. If everyone is in position, we'll begin. This time, I will be more hands-on. I intend to fight as if in an actual battle. Furthermore, I'll be using this. Is that the Ring of the Holy Knight? Indeed it is. I'm inviting an old friend to join us. I am Sigurd. If you require strength and swiftness, I am all too happy to oblige. Emblem Sigurd. He looks like a strong opponent. Each emblem has their own abilities. When allied with them, you can call upon their unique powers and skills. Whatever Sigurd's power is, it won't be the same as Marth's. We'd better keep our eyes open. My rapier is effective against cavalry, like those enemies over there. Once we engage, you can use my weapon. Try it against that foe.
Your teamwork is inspiring. Now it's time for us to make our move. Come, Sigurd. Queen Lumera, please forgive me for standing against you. Vander, you are my child's knight. You must fill that role as best you can. Attack me with all your might. Don't think so! That was incredible! Lord Sigurd is remarkably swift. Perhaps we should be grateful this is a mock battle. together so well. Well fought, everyone. You bested Sigurd and me. That's quite the feat. There is much to improve upon, but this is a wonderful start. Great work. Thank you. I can't believe we had to fight against Queen Lumera. Yeah, well, I can't believe we won! Though you have only just awoken, your power seems to be growing already, Divine One. I'd like for you to have this. This is the sword you were using, isn't it? Yes. An ancient blade that can be wielded only by Divine Dragons. It served me well for many years, but now it is yours. Consider it a prize for your victory today. Thank you. Someday I'll prove that I'm worthy of this sword. I have no doubt. Please, take this as well. Is this another emblem ring? No. It is purely ornamental. You see, before your slumber, I made you a promise. What was it? I said I'd give you a birthday present that suited you perfectly. I was working on it in private, but I was unable to finish it in time. That birthday has long since passed, but I would quite like to give you this gift now. I'm sorry. I can't accept. Why not? That ring fulfills a promise you made me, right? But I don't remember that promise. It'd feel wrong accepting it. Like I was taking a present meant for someone else. Please offer me this gift again once I've remembered everything. Everything, you say? <sighs> Did facing me in battle stir any recollections? It didn't. I'm sorry. You need not apologize. It doesn't matter what you can remember right now. I only hope that one day, you will think of me as your mother, as you did a thousand years ago. Uh... Forgive me. I was so thrilled to spend time with you again. I suppose I got a little carried away, didn't I? No, it's all right. <laughs> I don't mean to put you on the spot. Perhaps we should call it a day, hmm? But let's agree to chat again in the morning. What do you say? Pinky promise? <laughs> all right. <laughs> 